How did you first become interested in singing and when did you realise you had such a talent? I think I first became interested in singing uh, as a child and we had a, uh, my teacher was an opera singer and so every Friday afternoon we would have um, singing and I remember that even though my room was a mess I kept all my music in order and I used to practice in my room with my hairbrush <laughs> and uh, so I think my love of music started then however I didn't uh, start to pursue it until my 20s when I um, had finished my other studies and uh, found a classical teacher and um, started to get training. <laughs> What made you choose to go back into the world of singing after your degrees in psychology and industrial relations? Uh, I think, I guess I've always, I've always loved to sing and uh, when I started university I didn't think that that was a, a possible career path and uh, it was only when I um, was studying and, and singing on the side because I loved it that I thought I should give it a go uh, and that's when I started to get uh, lessons with a classical teacher and uh, sang an aria which was Bati Bati from Don Giovanni and I, I just thought this is my this is my type of music and I absolutely loved it and just thought okay I've got to go for it and pursue it. Which singers do you admire and why? I admire uh, as, um, as a person and the way she's developed her career at Renee Fleming. I, I think that um, she was extremely perseverant and very intelligent and approached it uh, in a very um, mature way, I believe, her career. Yeah. <laughs> operatic role would be your dream role and why? I would love to sing the role of Lakme. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful music and uh, I love the coloratura soprano repertoire and also being part Indian, my father's Indian, uh, I think it would be a very fitting role for me. <laughs> Which opera character do you think is most similar to you as a person? I think Amina in La Sonambula, even though I don't, I don't sleepwalk, however her disposition and her outlook on life is always very positive uh, and she believes in love and um, yeah, so perhaps Amina. <laughs> best opera production you've seen and your favourite opera house in the world? The best opera production I've seen would have to be Peter Grimes, uh, which was performed by Opera Australia in Sydney, uh, probably because it was just done so simply, um, but it was very powerful and it was amazing singing and yeah, it just stood out um, to me. I think as well because I was uh, doing an opera um, at the Conservatorium of Benjamin Britten Opera. Uh, Albert Herring, so I had been investigating all about Benjamin Britten and his life, so I was quite uh, passionate about it at the time. <laughs> and uh, my favourite opera house would have to be the Opera House in Sydney, uh, probably because uh, when I did some work there I used to get the ferry in and uh, I'd come around the corner of the harbour and, and see the Opera House in, in the sunshine and on the water. and. Uh, it was just, it was amazing to think that I was going to perform in there and yeah, it was, I loved it, it was fantastic. <laughs> And 
you noticed any differences between the opera world in the UK and Australia? I think uh, definitely there is uh, a lot going on in Australia, but uh, given the size of the country and the population, uh, it is a lot more limited. Uh, I think there's a lot more scope for professional companies in London, uh, whether it be 20th century opera or Baroque style opera, uh, there's a lot more scope for professional companies, whereas I think in Australia they um, companies have to, have to uh, combine a lot of different styles in order to um, produce operas and remain as a professional company. Do you have any other musical interests? Uh, I've been teaching myself piano, but uh, apart from that, I mean, I love to listen to all sorts of, of different music, but uh, singing is my, my passion and my love. <laughs> and do you have any non-musical hobby? I do love to paint. Uh, I, I just painted a canvas for my apartment. Uh, I find that very relaxing and, um, yeah, I love to create and, and to think up ideas and make it happen. <laughs>